Hey everyone, today we'll discuss about my first AWS certification, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. So since last few days I was thinking about getting certified, but I was just procrastinating it like I always do. So one fine day I woke up and I just booked the exam slot. So I knew that I won't prepare for it seriously unless and until there's something on stake. So let's discuss all about it. So what is this AWS CCP Certified Cloud Practitioner? The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is a foundational level certificate offered by AWS. It validates one's high level understanding about different cloud terminologies, different services, technologies, etc. It's all about the basics of cloud. There are mainly four domains for cloud practitioner certification. Uh, so the first one is uh, cloud concepts. So it is mainly about basic cloud concepts like what cloud is, how it can benefit different models like infrastructure as service, platform as a service. So the second domain is security and compliance. So how you can secure your own, uh, like how you can secure cloud, how you can provide security on the cloud and also different compliance, like how to be compliant for different regulations, different government rules or different kinds of policies. Uh, the third domain is like uh, cloud technology and services. So uh, it's mainly about different technologies and different services provided by different cloud providers like uh, about AWS, there are different services like EC2, there is S3 for storage, there is auto scaling. Uh, the fourth domain was billing, pricing and support. So it was all about how the user or the customer will, will be billed. So how the pricing models would, would work and all about support and all. Most important thing to prepare for any certificate is to go through its exam guide. So for any certificate, there would be exam guide provided by the, the cloud provider. So AWS provides an exam guide on their own like uh, the certification page. So the guide contains all the uh, basic information about this specific certification, like what will be the different domains, what will be the different topics, AWS services that would be covered under this, what would be different technologies, like what uh, questions can you expect, what would be the timing, uh, the marking scheme, everything will be covered in this exam guide. So this is the thing that you should always remember, first go through the exam guide and only then start preparing for the certification. So just like you all guys, I started searching online and like how to prepare about how to prepare for the exam. So a lot of people online recommended a Udemy course uh, from a tutor called Stephen Marek. So I actually went through that course. So I found that course very helpful. It is a 15 hour long course and uh, you would need additional 15 hours of effort on your own so what i did was like i went through the course like it was video content i was i used to watch it and on another tab i used to keep chat gpt open so whenever i used to uh, come like come across some new concept which I was not knowing I used to search it on chat GPT and I used to also search it on Google and all and I used to get it clear so it actually helped me to like understand lot of concepts in very like uh, less time so I also took notes of uh, different concepts like what is EC2, S3, different rules, different uh, S3 life cycle policies so in this way, I took uh, notes of everything, like whatever I thought important, I took note of it. So other than that, I also created my own AWS account. I got some free credit from AWS itself, like $25 credit, something I got. So I did hands-on, like I created my own EC2, I created my own S3 buckets, I tried some uh, policies. So I tried to do some hands-on, uh, actually for cloud practitioner certification level as it's a foundational level certificate. There are no like complex hands-on, they are like hands-on are pretty simple. So you can do all of them quickly. And they were also clearly like they were guided hands-on like the coursework had uh, all the instructions like what steps to do. So it was pretty much easy. So after all this, I started with the practice test. So the Udemy course itself had practice tests. So they were like uh, the complete simulation of the actual test. So there were uh, similar kind of questions. Uh, so I uh, gave like two, three different sets and I got 80 plus twice. So I got pretty confident that now I can appear for the exam. So yeah, so all about exam day. 
so there are actually two options you can uh, go to a physical exam center and you can uh, give exam in a physical center or you can book your exam like in an online proctored way so as center was far away from my place i booked for the online proctored one so exam was for 120 minutes so there were 60 questions and uh, it was scored like uh, the required score to pass was 720 out of 1000 so it was a proctor test in your own laptop software provided by AWS itself. So like a testing software, so you would install it and then the software will take control over your system. Then actual proctor would ask you to like show your room and show your phone and keep your phone away from your range. There will be ID verification and all. So in India, if you are staying, you can use your Aadhaar card or PAN card or your driving license as an identification proof. You need to show this proof on the like on the screen or take pictures of it and send to the proctor. So once the exam starts, it will be live proctor. If you like see away from the screen, then proctor would pause the exam and then uh, would like ask you to like uh, stay on screen and all of that. And the exam was pretty simple. Like the questions were straightforward. They were not too lengthy. Uh, it was multiple choice questions, so MCQs were there and also there were questions having multiple answers, so that was it. So yeah, so and after exam, you after you submit the exam, you would immediately get the pass or fail uh, result. So once I submitted the exam, I got the result, I, yeah, I cleared the exam. So yeah, that was all about it. So my personal opinion to all of you would be, what I enjoyed most was the learning part. So certification would be just a PDF with your name on it, nothing more than that. But the learning part that 15 to 30 hours like I spent on learning that were very like very useful. So I was able to relate all of uh, that while like doing my actual work as a software engineer. So that was really like that was pretty helpful. Uh, another thing I would like to suggest to you is don't prepare for certifications just for the tag that I am AWS certified. Prepare it like for your own good, for your own interest, like to learn, to actually learn the concepts. I would definitely recommend certifications to the beginners who are like who want to learn AWS or who want to enter into this cloud space. So you can uh, go with the certification. So what would benefit you is that certifications would give you a clear path if you try to learn it on your own by like searching on youtube and all there would be many different things and you'll just get confused but certifications would give you a clear and concise path that these are the topics that would be asked in the certification exam so you would focus on them and these topics are curated by like cloud providers itself so suppose it's a google cloud certificate then google cloud will itself uh, curate the whole learning path so obviously it would be like the proper uh, material or proper uh, things that you will need to learn the cloud that's it from my side if you need any help or if there are any queries or anything you want to discuss with please feel free to comment down uh, thanks bye, -bye.